What's up guys, snapper season is in full swing here in the golf and I wanted to do a video just to give you guys some tips and tricks on things that I learned in the 2020 season. That way in this 2021 season, you guys have the best chance at being able to catch some red snapper. Now I am by no means an expert, but from being a beginner last year to actually being able to catch some decent red snapper, I wanted to give you guys exactly the tips and tricks that I learned along the way, along with the countless hours of research that I did to make sure that I could be successful in catching red snapper. So I'm gonna share those tips with you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nick and I do a bunch of fishing related content such as gear reviews, tips and tricks videos, and overall fishing adventures. So if that's something that you are interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do find anything valuable in today's video please give me a like it would really let me know that you are enjoying the video and letting me know that you would like more content like this in the future now I'm gonna break this video down into four parts one tackle two bait three where to find red snapper and four how to catch them and I'm gonna go ahead and put all of those timestamps right here for you guys that way if there is a specific part you want to skip ahead to you can now, as far as gear goes, if you have a grouper fishing setup already, then you can really just use that. No need to go and buy a specific setup just for snapper. However, if you don't have a bottom fishing setup yet, I'll leave two links down below for the two different types of bottom fishing rigs that we have, spinning and conventional. That way you guys can take a look of exactly what we are using. But I'll give you a quick breakdown of what you can get away with when you're trying to target these red snapper. Now they are really strong and powerful fish, so you do wanna make sure you have some beefy tackle because you're gonna be fishing in some deeper water with some other larger predators around. So you wanna make sure that you have at least 50 to 80 pound braid attached to a 10 foot shock leader. I prefer to use mono. Some people swear by fluoro, but it's really up to you, whatever you are more comfortable with. And I tie my braid to my shock leader via an FG knot, and then I will put my weight on the main line, and then I'll put a snap swivel at the end of my shock leader. Then we have a bunch of pre-made rigs that we will just attach to the snap swivel, and there your rigging is set up. Now as far as tackle goes, we pretty much use the same tackle for our red snappers that we do for our grouper. However, the only real difference is we use size our hooks down a little bit, whereas we're using dot hooks for our grouper just because they do have really big mouths. We will size down our hooks for our red snapper to about a six aught hook just because they do have a little bit different types of mouths and they're smaller. And typically we're throwing a little bit smaller baits for the red snapper than we are for the grouper. So that's really the only thing to keep in mind. I'll make sure to leave down below also the exact rigs that we use for red snappers. That way if you wanna check that video out, you can see the exact rigs that we use for red snappers in the upcoming season. Now as far as a reel goes, like I said, snapper are very big, strong, powerful fish, so you wanna make sure you put the smack down on them with drag, make sure you have a reel that has anywhere from you know, 20 to 40 pound drag, depending upon your setup. You wanna make sure it's locked down because they are very strong fighters, and depending upon the type of structure you're on, they might go and try and break you off. You wanna get them up. Also, you wanna make sure that you get them up away from the sharks because the tax man will come and try and get your red snapper. Uh, as far as a rod goes, typical bottom fishing rod, really stiff backbone, something that you can really work them off the bottom and get them up to the boat as quick as possible before they either break you off or before the tax man comes. Now, red snapper are very aggressive feeders, and if I had to choose one bait, I would probably say a threadfin herring, either live or dead, cut up is gonna be a really good bait for you. So if you're able to find any threadfin on the way out to your snapper grounds, try and catch them because they are really good bait but really any live or dead bait is going to do well for you they're really aggressive fish and will typically eat a lot of different things we've had red snapper eat on squid cut pinfish threadfin herring pilchards even some lizard fish um, and some squirrel fish as well so really any type of live bait that you can get uh, will really work well for red snapper as long as you are able to get to the red snapper and chum them up a little bit they're gonna get fired up and they're gonna pretty much hit anything that you throw down but I will say one of the craziest baits that I never thought would catch big red snapper has actually been just a frozen piece of either a lizard fish or a squirrel fish I don't know what it is about the big elongated baits but they really love those types of baits 
I cut the head and the tail off. It really just looked like a long fish sausage and for some reason the red snapper just really loved it. I actually caught my PB red snapper on a frozen lizard fish like that. Make sure whenever you get to the red snapper, if you just throw some baits down, they're gonna eat because they're a very aggressive fish. Now, if you're having a hard time getting live bait or cut bait or just ran out of bait in general, red snappers will also hit on artificial bait. Bucktail jigs and vertical jigs are also very good options for snapper. Like I said, once they get fired up, if you're in a school of them, they are very aggressive and will typically hit a variety of things that go down to the bottom. What I like to do is I will take like a four or five inch paddle tail as a trailer and put it on a bucktail jig just to give it a little bit more action. And for some reason, the red snapper just really like a long bait. Use a trailer because it does work and help you get a little bit more action out of that bucktail. Now let's go ahead and get into where you will be able to find the red snapper. They are going to typically be in some of your similar places to where you'll find your gag grouper. However, you really won't be able to find them too shallow. Whereas grouper, sometimes you can find them anywhere from you know 10 to 20 feet. I personally have not been able to find a red snapper in less than 50 feet. Not saying that it's not possible. However, for your best chances, you are going to have to make quite a trip in the Gulf in order to get them. Now where I fish in Steenhatchee, to get into about 50 feet of water, you're gonna have to go at least 30 miles offshore. So make sure you plan your trips accordingly because being 30 miles offshore is quite a ways out. Kind of like I was saying in the grouper video, you're gonna have to find some spots that have structure. Now, I will say that a difference between grouper and the red snapper that I have found is whereas grouper are gonna be hanging really tight to that structure, red snapper seem to like to roam a little bit. Uh, one way that you'll be able to know that you're on a red snapper is by looking at your fish finder and they like to really stack up on the fish finder. What it's been described to before that I really like to say is it looks almost like a Christmas tree on your bottom machine. And what I mean by that is you're going to have a big fish show hump on the bottom and then it progressively gets a little bit smaller so it will go up just like a Christmas tree. Now. As far as structure goes, ledges, wrecks, artificial reefs, those are gonna be places that do hold red snapper. But we also have found that uh, live bottom is also a very good option for snapper. And what that means is you might not have a specific hard piece of structure, but just a bottom that has a bunch of little crevices in it, coral reefs, stuff like that, just not straight sand does have a good abundance of red snapper sometime. In fact, some of the snapper spots that we have found have just been by seeing a fish show while riding out to our spot and stopping, chumming up the water a little bit and being able to get into some snapper. So don't be afraid to fish a little bit off the structure. Don't be afraid to do a little bit of roaming to actually look for the fish. Cause like I said, a lot of times they're not gonna be right on the structure. It could be, you know, anywhere from up to a hundred yards away from the structure, just roaming around looking for food and looking for bait themselves. And with red snapper, if you are able to find a good fish show, one way to get them to come to you is to get a little bit up current from where you were able to mark them Go ahead and put out a chum block, cut up some bait, put it in the water, and just kind of get the commotion going and let the chum flow back to them, bring them to you because they are aggressive feeders. Like I said, if they see any sort of feeding going on, they will be curious and they will go up to that feeding activity. And there are even videos of snappers even coming up from 90 feet of water all the way to the surface feeding and hitting top water plugs. So like I said, they are very aggressive fish. Don't be afraid to search around the structure for the actual fish show on your fish finder and then chum them to you. Now, as far as spots goes, I would just use the same tactics as uh, in my grouper video. Start with some public numbers offshore, see if you can find anything. Then go purchase a top spot map to find some of those deeper water spots that aren't on your public reef locator. And then thirdly, just ask for some local knowledge. Sometimes people will be more than happy to help point you in the right direction. But if you really don't have any of those options available to you and want to find some of your own spots, I highly recommend visiting the Navionics website. They have an actual nautical chart 
with depth contours that is free for you to use. You can also download it on the mobile app and they actually give you a free seven day trial. So if you're only able to get out for a few days, you can actually find some nice depth contour on your Navionics app or on the website to try and find some of your own spots. I will say one of the ways that we found spots is we just went to the Navionics app online found some depth contour, basically measured out the heading and the miles from the channel marker, headed out there, and then just kind of did some exploration until we found some fish. And that is one way that we were able to find one of our snapper spots. Might take some work, however, it is worth it in the end if you're able to get on some snapper. Now, lastly, let's get into how to actually catch the red snapper. Red snapper eat your bait a little bit differently than a grouper. Whereas a grouper is a suction feeder and will just swallow the bait whole, red snapper typically like to do short strikes at your bait to kill it, stun it before it will try to eat it. What you wanna do is once you are on your spot, depending upon whether or not you're anchored up or not, we like to typically throw out some chum to get the fish fired up, to bring them to where we are going to be putting our lines, and then we'll throw our bait down to the bottom. Now, once your bait is on the bottom, you wanna make sure that you keep your sinker to the bottom. You don't want it bouncing up and down. You want it to look as natural as possible to these red snappers. However, whenever you are on the bottom, you wanna make sure that you are holding your line tight with that weight on the bottom. Because, like I said earlier, these snapper like to do short strikes and they really like to play with the bait, make sure it's dead before they start to swallow it whole, especially if it's a larger piece of bait. Whenever you start feeling a lot of taps on your bait, don't set the hook, don't try and reel right away. You will feel that definitive swallow from the actual red snapper. What I'll actually do is whenever I have my bait on the bottom and I start feeling that bait being played with, I'll actually release my spool on my reel and wait and hold the line. That way I know once the red snapper actually picks up the bait and the hook and starts swimming away with it, that is when I'll reel and that's when it's game on. You don't wanna try and reel too soon because what's gonna happen is you're going to pull that bait away from the red snapper before they're hooked. Snapper are a little different from grouper whereas grouper are gonna go immediately back to the structure. Snapper will try to go to the structure but a lot of times what they'll do is they'll just start shaking their heads like crazy and they will start going back down to the bottom or they will just start running. They typically run a little bit more than grouper. Grouper will go right back to their hiding spots and just post up and wait for you to either give up or get broken off. Whereas snapper, they're gonna just try and swim away and try and shake that hook out of their mouths. So reel, bring that rod tip up, lift them off the bottom, reel, and keep reeling until you get them to the surface. You wanna make sure that you get them up before the sharks, but don't be afraid if they do run on you because like I said, they are pretty powerful fish and if you are fighting them on spinning tackle, they are going to pull drag sometimes. So. Don't be afraid to just let them run a little bit. Make sure you just get them off the bottom quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did find any information valuable, make sure to hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're fishing the 2021 season right now and would like to share any of the current reports for where you're finding the red snapper, do so down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys and I'll make sure to do an update and let you know where we are finding the red snapper so you guys have a really good chance of catching some this season as well. Now, if you wanna see more red snapper videos, I'll leave my playlist and a couple videos there for you. And if you wanna see what the 2021 season has in store for red snapper, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. And until the next video, I hope you guys are able to get out on the water and catch some red snapper.